This is just going to be a quick teaser on this Hayoki RM3548 resistance meter. And uh, what's different about it to a normal meter, as you can see, you've actually got two leads or two, two wires per lead. You've got a source and a sense wire. Now, what we have down here is little legs off a resistor. One's 10 millimeters long and the other is 20 millimeters long. And yes, granted, you're going to be able to see in a wire this size if it's broken. I'm just showing you just how accurate this bad boy actually is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a resistance test on there. And I have to be careful because if I keep touching these, it's going to affect, uh, affect the resistance. So what we should see is basically... Now, I maybe haven't got them cut 100% right, but we should more or less see a double in resistance between the small one to the big one. Um, and a normal meter, I can assure you, will not be able to sense the difference. This bad boy can. I do have to be very, very careful. You can see we've got our temperature sensor on the top. And you can see the reading there, 0 0.9436. Now, these numbers are important. I You, know, you normally just say 0 0.9 or whatever. But because we've got a lot of clarity here, their numbers are very, very important. That's on the 10 millimeter wire. So I'm going to swap it now to the 20 millimeter wire. And let's see what we get. I do have to be careful because as soon as I touch it, like I said, the resistance will change. And this is that sensitive. Just for me touching it alone changes the resistance. I'll show you that as well. Right, we've got our bigger piece of wire on now. We should be 1.88 something. Now, bear in mind, I don't know if I've got 100% the, the, the leads exactly right size. But are you ready? Boom! I mean, just look at that. How accurate is that? Now, I think the measurement is off. The temperature is slightly raised, and I might not have cut them exactly, you know, 110 centimeter, 120. But people, you get the idea. If I then hold this, just the heat of my hands around it is changing the temp or changing the resistance. How crazy is that? So they do say when you put this meter when you are testing something, it needs to be in the same place as whatever you're testing for around about six hours. You can see the resistance has gone down again. What I'm going to do, just for shits and giggles, I wouldn't advise you doing this, but I'm going to do it. Let's put some heat onto it and see the resistance. Well, boom, look at that. I'm heating up the wire and look at the resistance changing. I mean, it is just so so accurate this is just a little teaser of just how accurate this bad boy is it is awesome people absolutely awesome more to come on this bad boy